Hello, and welcome to the May Contain Action Podcast. This episode is presented by G Fuel, the official drink of esports. The flavor range of this stuff is absolutely insane, and I promise you will find something that you like, because if you can't, then you just don't like tasty things. Use code MCA at checkout for a discount on your next order. My name is Trevor May, but many of you may know me as the guy who gave up that homer to that other guy. I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Paul Action Jackson. Hello, everyone. Hello, it's Paul. me. Uh, uh, spoiler alert, I was the guy. He gave oh, okay. a home or two. Yeah, yeah. it was me. It was me. A lot of yeah, people don't know that. Yeah, you, uh, you book your flight yet? You book your flight yet? You know, don't try to deny it. And book your flight yet? I have not. Yeah, I got to probably give you an exact date, huh? I like to book my oh, flights no. last second. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I do, too. Can't wait to visit you, though. I do, too. A lot of people that don't know what that's for, we're not going to tell you because it's a yeah. secret. Get sucked, listeners. Get or or don't. Get messed up, <laughs> you, you doofuses. Uh, uh, we have an amazing guest today. Everyone, everyone listening has probably done the thing that our guest is best known for, but he's way better at it than you. I, I, I guarantee. You. Like, a, a, like a, you know, I've done this thing. Paul's definitely done this thing, but there's oh, yeah. no way we can hold a candle yeah. to the person that we are talking to. Fun today. fact: I started doing this thing, followed the instructions, and it was like. No, nope. nah. <laughs> <laughs> I got like a third of the way through it, and I'm like, mm. no, 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 <laughs> mm. yeah. Mm. Is this my time to like hop in? Not yet, like, not oh, come on, <laughs> Nick, you're so Damn close. It. We had one more li- line, but again, we didn't communicate that. Damn soon, it. So that's you on didn't us. Tell me that, so that's your fault. <laughs> uh, and we're oh, hold, watch oh, wait, 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 wait. we're back now. We're back in the, hey, in the past. This person has over 20 years of creative Lego building experience. Brick and Nick is here for us for the show, guys. Hello. Brick and Nick. What up, Nick? How you doing? Hey. You haven't heard my voice already at this point. Oh, no. hey. Not. I'm Nick's doing here. great. How are you guys doing? Doing fantastic. So Thanks so much for asking. I'm so uh, glad to hear it. For those uh, of our listeners as well uh, that don't know, uh, before we started recording this, me and Brick got to witness Trevor just lose his complete mind while he yeah. was setting up his yeah, whole everything. I mean... Everything from his cat knocking out the internet, spilling water on himself. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was a he was in shambles. Well, let's just I'm in I'm in mid season form. Is all that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What means is I'm 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 ready to go. Like I this is it's ready to I'm ready to podcast. You know it's ready I mean? to podcast. I, the more I mess up, the more I am who I am. Better you know? it gets. I don't know. You that should get really, thing. really. You should be worried if I'm just nailing stuff. Is what I'm trying to say. Like if I'm True. Just crushing it, you're like, dude. Is he is something is something going on with you? What's wrong? Oh god, that's so accurate. If you were like nailing it, I'd be concerned. Anyway, sorry. Anywho, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, technical difficulties. <laughs> um, you know, I'll be streaming streaming again here from home from Seattle soon, and people will definitely see it then too, I'm sure, for at True. least a couple hours. Uh at least two of the six hours will be me fixing things for sure. For sure. Uh anywho, enough about me. We all know about that. Um, Nick, I think Hi. it's I think it's pretty clear how you got your name. For, for those of you that don't know, bricks are I, I know I actually have a history of uh, brick laying. That's uh, oh. my former profession. And so uh, <laughs> <laughs> every once in a while when I do a raid, I try to like try and convince someone, uh, see if I can get them to believe that I'm actually a brick layer on like Twitch long, or something. But oh my God, that never really flies. <laughs> so funny. You're like, hey, you should see the wall I built. It's insane. Yeah. Like, long cool. history of masons. Crush them. <laughs> yeah, I come from a long. I'm a fourth generation <laughs> mason. mason. <laughs> bricks only, though. Bricks only. Just bricks. Don't mess with cement. Just, Just bricks. Just, just, just I'm a purist. Oh God, that's maybe very relevant. Assume. Term that's why we don't assume. Use. That's exactly why we, that's why we don't assume, listener. Uh, but if you don't know, Legos are commonly referred to as bricks. Um, and mm-hmm. uh, and Nick here makes amazing things out of Legos. But oh, what we don't really know mm-hmm. is how you got here. Like how where. Uh, Take, take us through the the advent of just kind of playing with Legos, enjoying yourself, to now yeah. ha- you have a YouTube channel, live streaming on Twitch, and you're making all these amazing things for all kinds of people. You've got Thanks it. You've got it. So it was, uh, I think, a cloudy weekend in September of 1992. 
Uh, I was born. No, I'm, <laughs> and we're not going to go that far back. I was like, wow. Uh, <laughs> settle in for the next six hours as I tell you every detail of my life. Um, <laughs> We've had one of those. No, it was really just from a really young age. I uh, discovered that I really enjoyed building with Lego. Um, more so than I found myself enjoying anything else. Video games are definitely a close second all the mm -hmm. way through. But um, there was just something about being able to take these little plastic things, combine them in different ways, and see something that was like in my mind become a reality in the brick. And uh, I luckily like never let go of that passion. It stuck through me in all aspects of my life. Um, even like in high school when it became, you know, maybe a little bit taboo that I was still quote unquote playing with Lego. Yeah. Um, I like discovered an online community where I got to see just how incredible things you could build out of Lego could be. Um, and that really inspired and drove me to kind of keep at it and keep, keep building, keep being creative. Mm -hmm. And uh, then a few years kind of after that, you know, getting into university, really kind of feeling more comfortable and just being who I am and what I like and stuff like that. Uh, I discovered Twitch and I was like, man, this is such a cool platform. Like people are doing things live. And this was 2016. So this was around the time they were really heavily pushing creative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I'd stumble upon some ads and I'm like, oh, man, there's like people doing creative stuff on here. Uh, let me find like the Lego people. Like, where are they at? So I'm like searching and searching and searching. And it's just like, there's nothing. There's like one random stream of a guy building a Minecraft set. And I'm like, how is there not a Lego community in this place? And I'm like, let's see if I can get that started. So fast forward a few months, started my first stream, uh, slowly started to discover some other people. It, feel, it felt like a bunch of people kind of had the same idea around the same time. So yeah. we all started to come together to share in our passion of building and fast forward a few later, and we're doing it kind of full time now. So it's really fun. okay. Okay, really quickly, yeah. I, I have to I have to ask this question. So you you have mentioned building with Lego. You've, yes, you've, you've you've said it like is okay. So is there a in the, in the Lego community? Is that the proper way to refer to okay. working with Legos? So you're referring to the Legos thing, Build right? With, yeah, like so, like working yeah. with Lego. You said so Lego. I would say Legos. Technically, Legos yeah. is incorrect. There is yeah. like legal termage oh. on Lego's website where it's like, please this. do not refer to Lego as Legos. If you wanted to say a plural, it would be Lego bricks, Lego sets, Lego pieces, whatever. So Lego's mm -hmm. the brand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's what they want for the brand. But yeah. okay. like, you know, that's that really hard sense. to enforce. Like if you I used to be definitely more of like the, oh, it's only Lego, not Lego brick, Legos or whatever. <laughs> but like, I kind of let go of that. I have a little more fun with it. I like to think when I say it, I'm spelling it differently, so it makes me feel better about it because I'm like joking about it in a sense. Okay. So I like yeah. to say it's L A Y G O E S to be like weird and silly. Lego. Yeah. I don't like to. I don't. I will. You'll pretty much never catch me typing out L E G O S because I don't mm -hmm. like the way that looks. That makes sense because I feel like you would never say like, "Oh, I'm gonna go. I need deodorant. Let me go get some Old Spices." You'd be like, "I'm yeah. gonna get, yeah. get yeah. Old Spices." Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a it's so weird though, thing. but like it's so strong of a brand that. It's used to encompass all building bra. Yeah, pretty definitely. much. I mean, Link it's like it's, yeah. it's, it's, and Lincoln Logs. But again, brands, right? Lincoln Logs is also a brand. And indeed, that oh, is it Lincoln, Lincoln Log? That's yeah. a good question. I that think that is, is a good logs. question. I, I'm very. Oh my god, this can be such a good TikTok. I can't wait to <laughs> tell everybody <laughs> that it's Lego, not Lego. Like Lego. But no, if you really yeah. think about it, it doesn't make sense that we do that. And so we're just all plebs. We're all we are all Lego plebs. And we're exactly. being educated. I love that. That's awesome. Anyway, yeah. I'm a Lego pleb too, though. Like, don't don't try to pretend I'm not part of that group. Uh, uh, this is okay. the guy with a Batman logo made out of Lego in the background. Calm down. That's <laughs> okay. That's ridiculous. <laughs> You've careful. built some you insane stuff. <laughs> yeah. uh, I made like the Millennium careful. Falcon once, but that was you built the yeah. Millennium Falcon once. I, I did you really? The, I did the big one once. Yeah. What, like, like the, the like ammunition has forty one pieces one, or how many years ago was this? Oh, there's been multiple. 20 oh 15 2015 is before twitch before i was on twitch yeah i think oh. that would have been the previous one then which was it around was i think five thousand pieces so it still was massive it was, yeah. it was ma we were able to do it in you know a sitting well it was like nine hours but a okay. sitting? yeah that definitely would have been that one kate and i kate and i did it for thing or for thanksgiving for for valentine's once we had a valentine's that's awesome. day we put together one what? we wild. binge watched some show i think we just watched all of game of thrones like an entire season in one day <laughs> beautiful um, actually sounds like the dream but that's it that's all i mean i've i was a big micro machines guy 
when I was little. Micro machines were really dope. I had a lot of those as a kid. Setting too. up battles was. And I, I, I think like, machines? like my love of those Just kind of light. transpired into a lot of my Dang, building. I, I have a very strong, intense fascination with like micro scale building. There's a lot of micro scale stuff in the background mm-hmm. for sure. And I love just mm-hmm. getting in on the nitty gritty details and micro machines kind of satisfied that same, like that same interest. Wild. You uh, them up right now. Do you build, you build and stream full time. This is your full time job. Um, sure. yes, I do like stream yeah, and no. do content creation full time. Weirdly okay. what my full time aspect actually is though, is actually Amazon live. Oh. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that one always catch people by surprise i'm like i'm definitely focused mostly on building my brand around my lego and stuff like that yeah um, and it's actually what brought me the amazon opportunity uh, but a couple years ago um i got an email from amazon uh being like hey we're building this platform called amazon live um i was part of the amazon influencer oh. program you know doing some like affiliate links or whatever here and there mm-hmm. um but they reached out and they're like we've seen some of your you know your live stream content and we think he'd be a great fit to uh, do some live streaming on Amazon. I was like, the heck is this? Like, who wants to watch a live stream on Amazon? I almost didn't reply to the email. But one of my very smart friends uh, insisted that I should uh, see what they're uh, see what they're getting up to. Mm-hmm. And so I reached back out, learned about the program. It was in beta at the time, gave it a shot. Um, turned out to be pretty fun. I, I basically just got to share you know, a lot of this is similar and similar light as like I get to share, you know, my passions on Twitch. I get yeah. to do that on Amazon. But while I'm doing that, I kind of talk about some of the products that are available related to that stuff. Some of the products that I like to use in my day to day. So it's it's a reasonably like natural transition from, you know, regular mm. live streaming to Amazon live yeah. live streaming. Um, and yeah, I've been uh, doing that for almost two years now. And uh, that has uh, it has been a big part of what it's allowed me to go full time. That wow. feels like such a uh, uh, a weird thing for them to get into. It's like directly opposed to Twitch in a way. It feels like I uh, yes and no. Like it's definitely very different to what it does. Like you and you can go to Amazon.com slash live to like see people who are live right now. Um, yeah, there's like a group of creators who are part of like a program called A List. Um, it's like their it's a it's probably their equivalent to partner. Um, they created that a little bit after we got on the program. I definitely pushed for some of that stuff early on. Um, <laughs> And yeah, it's just a cool way for people to like, you know, share stuff that you can get on Amazon, kind of give live demos, answer questions in the moment. Um, I actually have a pretty long history in retail as well. So it's pretty easy okay. to transfer a little bit of that experience to oh, it cool. as well. Nice. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm on the page right now. Didn't know this existed until mm-hmm. this very second. I, I did not either. Um, it sounds yeah. like it's, is it, is it, okay, is it like uh, kind of centric around um, like teaching, learning kind of? Is there, is there a lot of those say, yeah, like general question answering? Like if essentially there, there is a chance when you're looking at a product page, if someone's live streaming at the moment with that product featured in their stream, ah. you mm-hmm. may see that live okay. stream. So that can be a way to be like, that you know, sense. you're looking at something, you're not sure about it. Maybe you have a question, you see someone's live streaming, you go, cool. Maybe I can ask this person who's like featuring this item. And then you can get like a live, you know, a uh, demo or a live and you know interaction yeah. with the person and uh, get some more info on it. That probably crazy. that probably shoots up the chances that person buys the product like a lot. So, I, I have a feeling that oh, is probably yes, the case. Yeah. I admittedly don't have access to that side of the stats, but I feel like they would not have oh, yeah. maintained this program for as long as they have if it did not have some effectiveness. Exactly. <laughs> Very interesting. That is so crazy. I didn't know that mm-hmm. even existed. Um wow. I actually am very intrigued by that. My wife would love this. Um <laughs> That's freaking amazing. Uh, so, okay, Nick, so what you you mentioned this a couple of times, and especially you mentioned it before when you're talking about when you went into Twitch and yeah. you saw the creative section, right? And you're like, okay, mm-hmm. like Twitch is kind of opening up to things other than just gaming. Yeah. Right? So being creative is probably the number one prerequis- prerequisite for doing builds because uh, you can't just, I don't know, like you can follow instructions like I did, but I don't know how engaging that is over time. Um, people um, have, like I, I will know I'm par- probably part of the majority or the minority sorry in the Lego community yeah. that actually does creative building I've definitely seen more of a growth of that over the years but like you have okay I would say the larger majority of Lego builders on Twitch are set builders um, and they have definitely done an incredible job of finding lots of ways to be engaging while they're sharing in that okay um, it is in a sense it's really not necessarily like super different from a video game in that like mm-hmm. especially for a story game you're essentially following along a linear path and you're kind of seeing how that person goes along that path and seeing kind yeah. of the, 
funny, weird, crazy stuff that might happen along the way, yeah. right? So Nuance. following in oh, the journey point. in a similar okay. sense. Well, then where do you specifically, as being um, more on the creative side, where do you find uh, your inspiration? And and if you if you do have a regular place that you go to or a place that you kind of draw that from, what was your um, favorite time that you in terms like, of, like nailed inspiration it? for what I do? It comes from like very much the things that I enjoy. So you'll see a lot of the stuff in the background is related to like video games. So yes. I obviously love to build the stuff from my favorite games, pop culture. Um, you know, I've got like Thor's hammer here. Um, you know, I've got stuff from my home city about like Toronto Raptors logo in the background there. Oh, um, I just always draw from the things that I really, really enjoy. So you pull from just the things that you're already interested in. Yeah. Not, not so much necessarily. Cause like, we we've talked about this before on the podcast of like uh with specifically video game streaming do you pull from what's popular right now or do you play what you like yeah and do you do you find that there's that same kind of dichotomy in the lego build world yeah for example are you going to be making a a a squid game head soon yeah (laughs) sorry what was that one are you going to be making like a squid game mask soon for example um is that would I be know, highly I, I relevant watched it yet so we'll have to see how much <laughs> i enjoy should, the show once i get around to it really um good. and I, admittedly as a i am a family friendly content creator generally so like uh, okay gotcha. that could maybe be a little bit more of a question yeah, maybe not that one into, but like <laughs> but i have endeavor but so um, no tiger king builds got it okay got yeah it. i i definitely pull from both like things that are popular and the things that i like um, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, just as any artist probably is, I'm always keeping an eye out on like what things are blowing up, mm-hmm. you know, what would be a cool thing to kind of cover and, you know, have the, people be excited about seeing. So the Lego Batman movie logo in the background, I built yeah. that right as it was coming out. Same with the Lego movie logo there and the Lego movie two logo, uh, the fall guys build I did shortly after, yeah. um, you know, the game released, I was really enjoying it myself as well. So that was like a bonus one having a little bit of both. Um, and then on top of all that, I definitely do take inspiration from like my community. Mm-hmm. So very normally every week on streams, uh, especially on Monday nights, we do something called viewer build requests where Ooh. I will let people just submit ideas in the chat. We'll throw it into a poll. People will vote on them and I'll build them in the moment. So nice. that can be oh. a lot of fun. Just kind of, and I, I do use a limited set of pieces for that typically. So it makes the, keeps the builds a little bit smaller means I can get through them a little bit quicker yeah. and forces me to get more creative because I'm using a limited pool of pieces so That's I don't awesome. have access to just every and any part I want. I have to like do my best to make it work with what I've got on hand. Um, it could be a so show. It's really, really fun kind of tackling that type of challenge. Yeah. I actually yeah, did I one of those streams last night and I did um, Kingpin from oh, Into the Spider-Man. Sick. So what? Like, so, I, I know people who, who are listening can't see it, but it's a tiny little build, but you know, it's, it is recognizable and that's always my goal. Just like make sure it's something that people can recognize. So yeah. Damn. All right, so have, you, have you, oh, go sorry ahead, to interject, but have you guys seen the Kingpin Mets? uh meme no no it's the clip from the 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 movie where he's being accused of like why are you doing that like why do you do what you do kingpin he's like it's not always about the money spider-man and he goes <laughs> it's about the mets and then it's like him and he's like in a mets hat he's like go mets baby yeah i love the mets yeah i love the mets you haven't seen <laughs> that <laughs> No, no I, I definitely have been meet you after that. It became a, it just, it ran wild. They came, people were taking dick clips from movies all over the, where they're answering a question and then they just transitioned yeah. into rooting for the Mets. And so, because the Mets did so well. It's probably why. Yeah. They, yeah. Okay. That's probably why like, they did those. And that, this is when you play the stupid, you know, sound from earlier, uh, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the ball game sound. That would have been perfect. Oh, that would have been perfect. The PM. Room. Gosh. Why'd right. you delete it? Uh, anyway, anywho, sorry to interject there. It's just, oh, no, that's okay. This one. I love it stuff was, like that. You should look it up. It's gets me going. It's funny. We'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I I wanted to ask too because you uh you mentioned kind of doing things in the moment. What what's your favorite one you've done? Like your favorite just creative either uh, favorite either from your time? chat or or from your own. Not like one you followed, but just like one you thought of, like your yeah, own creation. Yeah. Um, my favorite build of all time is the uh, Lego Nintendo Switch. That I built. That's a Lego. Oh, that video is sick. That is Lego. Yeah, I, so I, cool. I frankly love getting that reaction. I mean, I'm I love <laughs> for it. Um, hey, hey, PM, let's throw the link to that video in this description, please. Please do. Yeah, yeah. Because it's um, very it, it cool. Is, it is. Uh, I'm like very proud of that build because not only does it obviously look like an actual switch, it's very yeah. close to being in scale. The Joy Cons are slidable, like they actually slide in and out of the uh, like Joy Con holder and stuff. <laughs> and wow. they have like swappable games as well. You can uh, pop the little cartridge out here, flip Bro, it around. Shut your whole face. 
And then you're like playing Animal Crossing or whatever other game you might want to throw in there. It does everything but actually play games, guys. <laughs> exactly. As, as close as you can get with Lego bricks, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. Lego well, I'm so, yeah, that's that, my yeah. favorite build for sure. And there are, there are yeah. a couple other that sneak into the top five, like Cybertruck. The Cybertruck build I did is way up there. Yeah. Uh, I've done a lot of fun Destiny builds over the years. Um, uh, yeah. Wow. And I gave up doing a TIE Fighter. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I was going to come back to you like, what set did you give up on exactly? Yeah, it was the it was the Tie Fighter, and I did that I one have like what a ten plus rating, a little tough for you. Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it felt He's like a going diss. at felt, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. You, you know what, dude? Oh, you're a quitter. So. They're it called had at least Legos. A plus one at some point, so maybe it was that one, and that that could have been pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> I, thanks for trying to save that. I'm going to be me. honest. I really appreciate if, that. If there is a Lego project out there that's like 18 plus, I want nothing to do with that. <laughs> you're going to have to have actually, like some sort of degree enough, to do it. Heavily gone in on making sets 18 plus. Really? Wow. Yeah, because they find that it helps adults feel better about those purchases. Yeah, wow. and also adults feeling better about the purchases is probably a good thing considering they have the disposal income, not nine year olds. Exactly. So. Exactly. Yep. Uh, you have to appeal to them, and adults building, I guess, is probably. I mean, yeah, they all grew up. All the kids that grew up with Lego yep. are are exactly. yeah, still using. Yep. And now they got lots of money to blow on it. <laughs> oh. It was a it was a long play for Lego. Yep, That's, it really was. It was. It was. You're absolutely so right. Hey guys, I know we're not. I know we're doing okay now, but in twenty years, we're gonna kill it. Like, <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, John, Johnny Lego. Right, his name. Uh, so we we've the switch thing is awesome. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. Please go check it out. Obviously, check out all the videos, but like that one specifically, <laughs> I, think, I believe it's like the first one recommended too. So you should have no problem finding it. But um, I think we got to know some other like stats, right? I want to know what are give me a couple of the biggest product projects. It doesn't even have to be like even piece size, like piece time. Um, yeah. Absolutely. You know. I can definitely go into some of my big, biggest projects. There are quite a few that I've spent quite some time on. Uh, the Batman logo in the background there, that was, a. am pretty sure, about 24 to 30 hours of building with help from a friend over the course of about a week. It's about four feet long, so quite a substantial uh, build in terms of oh. size. Um, my second most complicated and longest project of all time, um, I unfortunately don't have physically with me. It is actually now owned by Dr. Lupo. Uh, okay. It is the really? uh, Rainbow Smash Pickaxe from Fortnite. I built a life-size one um, that Whoa. was heavily detailed, extremely complex. Oh, um, definitely one of the That's awesome. Of stuff. It's, it's one of the ones in the top five along with the Switch. Wow. Um, uh, I really, really love that one. And it was uh, definitely an honor to have like someone else love it so much that they wanted to own it. Um, and I literally went to his, I, I literally flew out to his house and installed it on, on like a no way. wall mount thing. So he, and he, that lives in the background of his stream now. So holy crap. That was yeah. you. That's awesome. That was pretty awesome. That was him. I yep. thought that thing was real. Nope. That's me. out of Lego. That's for me. Uh, dang it. <laughs> base so and heavy. he does also so own heavy, um, the, uh, the loot llama. If you've ever seen that in the background, yes. that is also a Lego build. The, the, you there's the that? giant one. That's not me. There's like a small oh, okay. one that he used to keep around his computers. That one was me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, what? yeah, he had a really big one that opened, right? Mm. And there was stuff inside it. Yeah, yeah no. Um, I, someday I'd love to do projects at that scale, but I'm not quite there. <laughs> that's freaking crazy. I don't have that much Lego, even <laughs> if you. it may look like it. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sure you have a lot, though. Do you do, do you have, like... This is this is an, this is even an, on the on the on the uh, the list of questions I have here. I just need to know, like, do you just have a great organization system? Just like they're all in their own little. Yeah, look at that. I, I would right. say look so. That. It is slowly developed. I think I started like organizing my Lego probably when I was like twelve or thirteen. So it's Smart. been slowly in development and scaling over the you know last gosh how many oh that's like sixteen years ago. That doesn't sound good. Oh, Isn't that okay. depressing? Um, Isn't it's that been a worst? long time. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I, I have a pretty good idea of where anything and everything is in uh, in my studio here. Um, there are very few occasions where I think of a piece and can't find it. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, I think, frankly, most of my memory is actually probably dedicated to that at this point. That's why my memory yeah. for most other things is pretty terrible. Because um, I need to somehow, for some reason, know where every single Lego piece I own is. So. What's your favorite piece? People ask this one a lot. I think it's more recent. I always used to say just the one by one plate, just the tiny little standard yeah. pieces. But uh, I really got to say that I love these tiny little one by one brackets. These Ooh, have been a piece like I had wished bracket. existed okay. for years. 
Um, they're just really useful for like adding details onto things. And they have some really neat uh, Lego math properties, which you've probably never heard that term, but never. it's very much a thing properties. in the world of Lego building because Lego bricks can interact in a lot of different ways mathematically, yeah. depending on how you orient them to each other. Because a Lego brick is not a perfect square. So they're not like pixels in a sense and that you, can, you can't just stack them up and go in different directions and have the same dimensions. They change as you change directions. So there's a, a lot of Lego math that goes into a lot of the building you see around Jeez. here. Holy geometry, Batman. Yep. <laughs> Imagine, oh. like, honestly, just even from talking, like, I understand the, the uh, whatever taboo stigma, I guess would be a better word, around, like, Lego uh, and, like, kids versus adults, whatever. But, like, imagine understanding Lego mathematics and, like, knowing that basically engineers have to design this stuff. And being like, yeah, no, that's, that's just for kids. <laughs> so interesting. Like, I'm, uh, it's I, so detailed. That it, it is, is incredible. Intense. Like, when I even I got the TIE fighter, I was like shit like i don't remember this at all yeah lego has definitely changed from like 20 plus years ago like the way the sets have evolved is wild lego's done it's a incredible. really good job of hiring a lot of the like fans that i was inspired by growing up oh that's like, cool. they're designing the sets now so like it's 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 even cooler to see how they tackle like designing a set and stuff yeah um, oh that it's, would be it's really impressive that would be really cool to to learn oh i'm gosh. sure there's videos it all over the be. place with with people who design them and how they did it uh, yeah lego does like pretty cool videos most of the time when they drop like a big set they call it a designer video where the designer yeah. like talks through their process and stuff it's a really uh, really cool like insight into the process freaking crazy all right before we move on to the next segment here or the next yeah. section the question I, I really really quickly is there mm -hmm. is there a project that you had planned whether it's a collaboration or you know, or someone like commissioned, you know, or something where you were like, oh, I could do that. That's, you know, that that's easy. And then it just it ended up being way more <laughs> effort or planning or complexity um, or just way harder than you thought, like way more time. Have you had any of those situations? I have. I've definitely had a couple of those situations for sure. Um, when I think I'm not sure if it was Infinity War. I think oh. it was when if Infinity War was coming out. I really wanted to build uh, the in the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, oh. and I quickly discovered I did not have enough yellow pieces was yellow was the closest color I could realistically use. And yeah. I realized very quickly that I did not have the pieces I needed to make that project happen. I spent about three days trying to get it started Yeah, and then just realized it was never going to happen. So I had to like abandon that project entirely and I've never gone back to it. I've never tried again. Um, wow. and I'm like happy with that. Like, I just know that's a project that I was never meant to tackle. I just knocked something off in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you can you can make me feel my passion for it uh, exactly <laughs> and then another one actually is kind of lurking in the background here i have a build Ooh. so lego last year released uh lego super mario sets mm -hmm. if you haven't heard about them they're really really cool the lego mario is basically like this giant big thing that has like um and he looks horrifying when he's turned off but <laughs> when you turn him on he's got like eyes and a little screen there and he makes all these noises and he's got this little scanner and you can basically build out these sets that help you like play through Super Mario levels in physical mm -hmm. form. It's a really, really cool kind of like hybrid Whoa. toy tech thing. Yeah. Um, really, really impressive. And so when they came out with this, I was like, wouldn't it be awesome if someone recreated at large scale uh, World 1-1, like the first level in the Super mm -hmm. Mario games? Uh, so I started that project in wow. August of last year, uh, and I actually still haven't finished it. I thought I had finished it. Yeah. And then realized I needed more. So I'm still in the process of finishing it. Um, I just need like one tiny little module, but there's actually about five feet of length to the build in the background here. Um, and what had made that project so difficult was I decided I wanted to have the hidden underground area, mm -hmm. but like, and have it be hidden while you're playing through it and it revealing. So like you have Mario like bounce on top of like a warp pipe and then like this wall falls down and shows you the hidden underground area. Yeah. So. I had like I had to pause for maybe like six to seven months on that one and come back to it to like figure out how to get that mechanism to work. Um, cause sometimes it's just necessary when like you know you can get something, but like you're just not quite sure to get there. Yeah. As I'm sure many creative people know, sometimes it's good to just take a nice big giant massive step back. Exactly. Come you know, back to it later. But you, yeah. yeah, come back to it later yeah. and kind of see how you would uh reapproach it. I'm so bad later. at that. I'm just so <laughs> bad. Like I'm like, no fix it now and then yeah. and, and, and then like, i just sit still just stumped <laughs> for days. exactly yep and you don't want to be sitting still on stream like having your viewers watch you just stare in frustration at your failure so <laughs> yeah it's good to move like, on come back to it later couldn't be me i never i definitely didn't put together a robot arm live just 
by by just just reading i was dude, that was the worst day ever i don't know why i did that why were you building uh, a robot arm exactly? oh uh, uh <laughs> i was this actually leads me to the other comment i was gonna make uh i'm over here like you're you're figuring out how to drop a wall and i i i, I l- l- taught a robot arm how to move like in one linear direction to pull pull out a little stopper that was holding basically the trigger of a nerf gun to be held back so it would shoot me so like chat could donate well how do they do it no the chat would donate and then the mods actually had to use a command to make it shoot me in the middle of playing escape from, escape from tarkov but that's like that's the incredible mo- though that's the well, most in, that is the most in-depth en- engineering feat i've ever done on stream but yeah. it's, a, it's, it's, it's an engineering feat no doubt 100%. That, and it would I, you know i a little dispenser of jelly beans and would hit the, the color <laughs> that, that, that chat would choose um I but like that. to be honest that worked like literally 50 percent of the time and uh I liked all the jelly beans, so it didn't really matter if it missed. I would just hit it myself and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it was a cool idea. And I executed thirty percent, I think, as well as it could have been. But uh, man, I, now I, now I can't wait till you finish that level because I want to see how you get, how you did it. I want to know how you did it. it you it's it's on. It, I hate to say it, it's really it's actually super dumb. You like Mario jumps on something, it pushes something down, and that hits the wall and, and it falls. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's it's really not exciting. I had I'm much not- more complex things in mind, but yeah. I'm impressed. Sometimes you just got to bring it back to um, the basics, and that's what works. Can't do any of that. That's at some point you're like, just work, just work. Yep, that's all I, I need. I didn't need this to look like magic. Oh just work. Like, I wanted Mario to like come down the pipe and like go through like the level. Yeah, and yeah, it just it just all had to go out the window. It's just not happening. Oh gosh. Well, uh, to kind of uh, switch gears here for a second. Sure. Um, so you you uh, uh, Nick, you host a, a event called Battle of the Bricks. Indeed. Correct. Uh, I take us through that. What, what is that? Yeah. So uh, a couple years back, I had had this idea for something that I thought would be really fun to live stream. Mm-hmm. And it was a Lego building competition. So I uh, hit up some of my friends in the Lego building community. And I was like, hey, would you be interested in doing like a building competition where you're going to be pitted against builders head to head and work your way up to a finale? And then yeah. we'll have a big finale where um, we see who kind of the better builder is. Um, and this was before the TV show Lego Masters came on. Before anyone is like, "Oh, they've already done that." Uh, yeah. I did this pipe down, then. everybody. It, out there. Uh, it was a uh, pioneer. They sold pioneer the net, for sure. <laughs> no, people have done like a blink competition, but I thought the live aspect <laughs> would be really cool, and that was the focus of it. So, in addition to the builders, you know, doing whatever challenges they were, um, mm-hmm. I wanted to have it be that through charity donations, they could have different challenges kind of take place along the way. So, builders would have to build with one hand behind their back use brick separators only wear crazy glasses yeah um you know stop building and do something else for a little bit um so it's really really fun kind of having that like live aspect affect a building competition Mm -hmm. um so it's been really really cool to kind of bring that to life i've done three seasons in total the first two seasons focus on lego builders and then the third season i switched gears a little bit and had it focus on um content creators so i had some amazing uh streamers mostly from or actually all of them from twitch um go head to head in like racing to build Lego sets in a variety of ways. Sometimes they have to build the set with just the picture on the box, no instructions. Sometimes they have to do it blind where like they had it in a box in front of them and they couldn't see what they were doing. Um, So it's been, it was really, really fun seeing how kind of that all went down. And uh, I definitely do want to continue. And I've unfortunately let it be on a little bit of a hiatus, Uh, but I did have the awesome opportunity to do a mini version during the um, week long charity marathon for uh, GCX earlier this year. So oh, there's awesome. Doing that. Very yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. That I feel like I, I, I've i taken on the role of this podcast of being the guy who's like just constantly blown away by people's creativity because <laughs> my, I just, I am taken aback. Like that is just a lot. Like l- we had a, a guest on who like organized an entire meet and greet in Chicago. And I was like, that's exhausting. I don't know that how it's exhausting. Even, <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. You're like, I had a show, we had seasons. Uh, there were different tasks to complete. There was a scavenger hunt. People got <laughs> people got trophies. Like, oh my god, there, there were trophies. Yep, I I trophies. of course there were. <laughs> That's so cool. Of course there were, Nick. I, I got. I have. I have yeah. a friend who does uh, like custom printed Lego pieces. So I have the made little plaques like Season Two Battle of the Bricks, like Master Get Builder. The hell out of here, Nick. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> oh, I just thought I, I, you just opened another world, like the whole three D <sighs> printing thing. Like you could. People oh, like, man. oh, I need this piece to do this thing. Let me just print it. You, 3D oh, printing true. is an interesting thing. I feel like it's not quite there yet, but people have started experimenting with doing 3D printing to like add into their Lego yes. creations, like filling gaps in terms of like colors that don't exist or printing parts that don't exist. 
Yeah. Um, so it's definitely, I think like, especially within the next like 10, 15 years, I think that's going to take a drastic turn and like the quality is going to get there yeah. to where like people are doing it way more often. And I think it'll be really cool to see what people come oh, up with. That'd be super cool. Yeah. I see Lego like even putting out some sort of 3d printing catalog <laughs> of like, Hey, you buy our mm-hmm. digital catalog. Yeah. It'll be I the, definitely can see that too. the download you can That'd be so your smart, actually, yeah. That would be huge. Uh, like yeah, it does I, have like crazy high quality standards. Like it's actually like I don't remember the I never remember the numbers, but like their yeah. like margin of error is it, it's hard. It's frankly hard to believe that it's even possible. Wow. Like I feel like it's literally like a handful of bricks will be faulty within like a, like millions. Yeah. Like it's insane yeah, like how the scale incredibly they do it to be that well they've like learned to make lego bricks <laughs> oh my gosh uh well Imagine back to the inspecting them by the way <laughs> like, <laughs> i'm sure it's good. not a person who's inspecting it's no, gotta it's be one a guy. machine <laughs> it's one, one guy, guy. Yeah, no, no. he's been doing yeah. it in, since the lego company started brad lego in, uh, it's johnny's uh, johnny's brother uh, brad yeah brad classic <laughs> brad uh to get back to the battle of the bricks really quick uh mm-hmm. so you kind of mentioned you're on a hiatus but um how would someone get involved in that like how do they how do they participate they want to i for the first three seasons i had like reach out to people um mm-hmm. i wanted to make sure i was getting people who i thought would do well within the live environment and stuff okay um i definitely would love to eventually get around to when i have the time and energy to do so mm-hmm. uh, like 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 put it out there like hey we're like looking to do a season of okay, battle of bricks awesome. like please apply yeah. um oh, I, it, so cool. admittedly as you as you kind of mentioned you know like running a show uh-huh. is a lot and yeah. I have luckily had like a couple of my great mods um, who have helped in the past. Um, but as like I've had to as as, as I've kind of gone admittedly full time with like content creation and stuff, it's mm-hmm. I found it's become harder and harder to like hash out that time to dedicate to it. Yeah. Um, so I'm just like waiting for the like, kind of the right moment and right circumstances to to bring it back. Hopefully. My gosh. Yes. I. <laughs> You mentioned like just being overwhelmed or, or like there's a lot going on. And I was just, I, I can't breathe thinking about <laughs> that. Like, <laughs> that's so, and so much. Yeah. And then like, I see Trevor over here just like, God, I could probably do something like that. No, I'm like, I'm like, uh, uh, I could what, probably, what, 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 what sets are available? Ah, oh, yes. If you, yeah, if you ever needed brainstorming ideas for stuff. Uh, and I mean, like I, I loved doing the mini one for, for GCX. Like that was a lot easier well i want to say a lot easier to plan it ended up being a nightmare in it in its own way but <laughs> that's mostly related to shipping delays sucking but oh sure yeah yeah oh i can't imagine what like, like two of the four people didn't it. get the packages i sent out to them in time so like we had to oh, put no. together this insane plant for them to like go to their local stores one of them was in like the netherlands so i had to like go online to some shops and like what but miraculously managed to find exactly what we needed to like make it happen so it was I mean, I tried to send one pack of Pokemon cards to Spain once, and it was the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm, <laughs> yep. I, I'm like, it's literally just Pokemon. I, I don't know what do you mean. What, what? Why do you need to know so much stuff? Spanish customs. It's, yeah. It's, Shipping. It, it, I like. I'm like. It's we an have been doing this for a really long time. Like, you know, moving mm-hmm. stuff across the world. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we should have a little bit of a better grasp on this, but yeah. Well, everything's uh, drenched in coronavirus now, so it's like just yeah. everything's dripping yeah. with this. They have to yeah, figure out. Sure. Oh yeah. Safety's no, that makes. For sure. Oh yeah. yeah. No, that makes Safety's sense. Important. Safety is the most important thing, someone say. Indeed. <laughs> someone say. <laughs> someone say. Uh, well, that is amazing. I, I hope that we get to catch uh, a new season, uh, you know, yeah. sooner rather than later. I hope you get some I, I time. Hope, and, I hope I can find the energy like, to, to do that. But again, uh, you're like, the, a lot the of thing about Nick. building, the thing about the building is it just doesn't tend to get shorter. Like the amount of time you need to build doesn't get less. It only mostly gets more. So yep. nope, you're you know, right I, I, I can't imagine uh, finding the time. It must be, it'll have to be your, your, your only thing you're doing at the time. If you're going to do it, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Um, yeah. that's such a, it's, I love the, the, the charity side of things too. Uh, my, myself, I'm, I'm right now, my wife and I are planning my first, like, actually I've done some charity streams, but I'm going to be honest. I, I I've, fully half-assed them i i've not been doing i've not done the things that i i've not prepared in the way that i could and you mm. give me so many ideas for like things that i could do uh uh not Amazing. even just from building but like but but even for like incentives for the things yeah. that we're doing and all that mm. kind of stuff like you said like the the hand behind the back and the closing your eyes and all like i'm like <laughs> oh people would love to make me rage like that's all exactly exactly we all yeah. love to do that but uh <laughs> it's so cool and and i'm, I'm sure that like uh, uh, people will really get behind it, and, and and if it's for charity too, you're just much more likely to, to participate in that way. So that's that's amazing. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, you know, tip of the cap to that. That's great. Uh, so I this one uh, uh, this this question we got, or it's a little bit more of an activity. Um, okay. Uh, we, we try to have something like this uh, for everybody. <laughs> <Come> uh, <here. laughs> 
it, it's not too crazy. Um, it's it's just I want you to think through a scenario and give us okay. how you would approach it. Um, uh, uh, so, firstly, though, my first question is: Would you consider yourself an expert in Lego? Yes. Or, okay. So yes, that is great. I'm so worried you make. Like, I'm getting that, you know because that actually <laughs> that helps this whole thing. I would. So, I would. Lego I, I think 25 okay. plus years uh, of experience. Classifies yeah, me as an expert. Yeah. Yeah. Ten thousand <laughs> hours are definitely there, probably. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's let's do a hypothetical uh, scenario. Okay. Here. You uh, you meet a kid. Let's say his name's Dimitri, and he's eleven. Okay. So Dimitri wants to get into Legos. He likes Legos. He plays with he play he's played with you know little things, erector sets, and things, but never really gotten anything like he likes Legos. But he wants to take it to the next level. He doesn't, he's like, I want to do the, you know, 300 piece projects stuff. The stuff that's for my age is fine, yep. but I want to be world-class at this. I want to, okay. I, I want to yeah. go, I want to get into that point where you're thinking engineering and geometry. So if you were to give him advice, he say he wants to do things like you do. If you were okay. to give him advice, what would your yep. top three pieces of advice as he starts? If you want to get here, advice. here's like the this, things like you need to know. Um, so I would <laughs> say start with, Thinking about something that you want to build that you're like passionate and interested in. I feel like a lot of people will quickly like, you know, look at what other people are building. Like, oh, I want to do that. <laughs> it is so much easier to dedicate yourself to getting good at a craft when it is based around the things that you like and are interested in. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't make sense to build a plane when you really like cars. So definitely target the things that you really enjoy. Um, I would like my more in depth relation to that in terms of like a tip is like, Pick out Lego sets that are of the things that you like. In particular, I really love a line from Lego called uh, Creator 3-in-1s. Those are sets that can you can build three different things out of the pieces from one set. So that in and of itself gives you a really good base for like how you can take those pieces and make it a 4 or 5-in-1 or 6-in-1. You can kind of continue to evolve on what the set's already doing and learn from all the different techniques that are used in that set to allow for all of these different creations from the same set of pieces. Um, and then definitely just like straight up steal and take inspiration from people online. <laughs> Builders often will post instructions. I do a lot of that myself. I have plenty of build tutorials out there on YouTube and I have tons of free instructions on my website. Um, like build those things that you see people building. Mm -hmm. un like take time to understand and appreciate like the techniques that they're using to achieve different types of, you know, looks and shaping and stuff like that. And you will definitely really build a good sense of um, how things can kind of come together. Um, I think that was two, maybe. It was like, build <laughs> yeah, the things you like, you yeah, got like yeah. that are related to you like, and then steal from, and learn from the steal, people who are already doing people. it. Uh, yep. A third one would be, uh, gosh, I feel like I need to look at my own stuff. <laughs> I think it's just like, keep at it too. And like, don't be afraid to like, work your way up as well. Because I think like, it's easy to look at like what I have here and be like, oh yeah, I want to try to build this. But like, this took a really long time to get to. So like, yeah. If you can kind of just scale it way down in terms of complexity and stuff, even kind of just doing like a pixel art version of the thing that you want to build, that's going to teach you a lot about the fundamentals of building. And then you can slowly <laughs> kind of build out from that. You know, once you do the pixel art version, maybe you can make it a little bit 3D, see how that comes together, and then go from, from that to making it a little bit more complex. Do some different building techniques. Start building sideways maybe instead of just upwards. Like there's a lot of ways to kind of expand out in terms of uh, how you approach a build and the techniques you use for it. Yeah. So I would say start in a simpler way and then slowly scale your way up rather than trying to like go all in and have this incredibly complex build that uses thousands of pieces. That's really, I didn't think it, what is this pixel build? You so imagine? like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I have a good example on hand. Is that like, a, a, a tangible? Like you, can, you can pretty much copy pixel art with Lego bricks and you know have a yeah. very recognizable image of something right ah, so doing okay. that on your own allows you to see like what you're good at kind of recognizing so mm -hmm. like if i looked at mario you could essentially break this down into like the different colors that he in and just pick a couple of spots for a couple of the details so you could do some yeah. red on top for the hat some brown for the hair so you know two black spots for the eyes make sure you have a big nose that sticks out a little bit like really just breaking it down to the basics of what an object is and what will get yeah. that message across of like, Oh, I recognize that thing. That's, I think a really good way that, and that's kind of how I look at builds is like, I start with like, you know, if I'm working on a project, I usually pick out one detail that I've like, maybe when I looked at it I'm like, Oh, I think I could build this like this. I'll mm -hmm. start there. And then I'll start to scale around that once I've kind of established like a starting point for something. 
Like, and and think of it, think of it as resolution, Paul. Like, yeah, it is. It is. That's a really good. Yeah, it's it is using just more pieces to get more detail. As you, as you, as that's it, okay. That does help. I yeah. didn't even think of it in that way. I, I kind of just. Uh, I'm glad you asked that question, Trevor, because I feel like me as eleven year old Dimitri would be like, "All right, cool. Like, give me the Death Star, and I'm going to make that." And it's like that. Eh, maybe like take it easy. Like that's like a lot. So like breaking it down almost into a 2D recognizable form. I know the Death Star is mm. probably a bad example because it's literally no, a gray it, circle. It's a, it's a good but, video. Um, yeah. But that's really that's I didn't know that even existed. How would you even do that? Like, is there a program that you use for that? Uh, that, no, like there are programs out there that yeah. can do like some limited like building and rendering for you. You can honestly use like pixel art generators to to do a lot of that as well. Pixel art generators, um, like okay. uh, like those two worlds definitely combine really well. Like it's very easy to recreate pixel art in Lego form. Um, uh, it's just more about just like tr like honestly, this is actually not a bad example. I have like a like a tree house type thing here, and this is a, like a very simplistic form of how I would normally go about building something. I'm basically actually just putting everything facing outwards here uh -huh. so that you can see all the different little brown bits on it. You can see some green bits kind of sticking out of it. And like, it's not nearly as complex or detailed as the stuff in the background, but it's still mm -hmm. recognizable as a tree with yeah. some stuff on the branches. So again, it's like really trying to simplify the idea of how you're going to get someone to recognize what it is. Yeah. I, and I love you. You can't see it uh, for our listeners, but yeah, I apologize uh, uh, to the listeners. No, no. Uh, oh, there will be highlights. You'll be able to check oh, out on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, Nick has a shirt on that says "Imagine, Build, Inspire," and hot damn, is that like? I think that's just that hits me in a certain way with with Lego, just because that is so. It's such an innocuous or innocuous is the right word. I don't know. Um, <laughs> such a. Um, oh. I don't know. It's like a this little thing. It's like a Lego. Like it's, you know, it, it's it's fun to build. It can be a toy. It's just kind of like this thing. But then it just has so much potential to be so much yeah. bigger than that. Absolutely. And it really gets people excited about creativity and creating. And it's Agreed. such a tangible thing that you can yeah. do and just go to the store and buy and start. Um, and I love that. You don't have to like be good at drawing or you have to be good at yeah. you just have to have create like a creative spark and some mm -hmm. vision and you can make yep. some really cool things agreed agreed 100 oh, percent. god I, freaking mjolnir is in the back like that's sick yeah. i imagine sick. Mjolnir, the hammer part is just a single large brick i don't know but it's, it's not it's not it's i love doing this as well like the little peel back what i use this technique for a lot of different builds but you're basically building around a little bit of a core to give it strength and then that way you can actually hold it in a bunch of different ways and like manipulate it how you like. We yeah. So this the, is this is the stuff that comes with years and years of practice and like yeah. understanding how the Lego bricks work. And right. you could just as effectively stack, you know, a couple of brown bricks and a couple of gray bricks and to build a big gray thing on top. And you're also going to be building an awesome Mjolnir. Yeah. It's not as detailed and complex, but it's a great way to get started with like figuring out how right. to do these things, right? Yeah. Your process yeah. that you just broke down gets mm -hmm. you there. Like yeah. it, it, it's universal Absolutely. from the simple to the very, very complex, just it's rinse yeah. and repeating. And, slowly and, increase uh, that resolution, like you said. Slowly right. increase resolution until you get to. That's such a good point. I'm totally stealing that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Until you're either bored, or yeah. you got what you wanted, or exactly. it's not going to work. Those are the three. Yeah. <laughs> those are the three probably options. And 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 and, and let I I'd throw this out there for anything. All of those options are fine. Like you don't right. Mm. If you if you're mm. like oh I don't want to do this anymore, then you don't have to do it. Yeah. Uh, if it doesn't work, if stuff doesn't work, that's fine, guys. Just. You, you tried. You did your like. You did your best. So uh, I, I, I'm thinking in, from my own experience, like and using Lego, like you know, if I were to build, you know, a design, like a like design and following the instructions, uh, uh, you project like how long is going to take, and if I mess up, like will I continue? And you like mm -hmm. answer those mm -hmm. questions before you start. I think that's a barrier to entry for somebody. Like they get overwhelmed immediately. But I yeah. think if oh, you yeah. approach it the way that you just said, especially when you're trying to be creative and mm -hmm. just when you enjoy yourself, then yep. you can stop at any point and you can continue at any point. And I feel yeah, like yeah. that's an awesome, I think that's the best way. I think it's one of the best ways to get the most out of playing with Lego. Like, like yeah. it's so, it's just like just sitting down and sketching and it's just like, you know, like making some music if that's what you do, like make a beat. Like it's yep. very much like that. that and that's exactly. Cool. Absolutely. Really, really cool. I, and I hope Dimitri makes it, man. I really hope. I hope Dimitri uh, too. I hope, I hope he listens. He I'll tell you if Dimitri doesn't make it. blown away by what he's building. I'm sure of it. <laughs> little little Paul over here is uh, more inspired than ever to finish that TIE Fighter. Tell you what. 
I am so glad to hear this. I, I am so glad to hear this. I can't it, wait to I, see it in the, the background of your stream soon. Yeah. Like, I gotta, like, get it on a string and just, like, hang it. Yes. Yes. Be nice little empty spot between your logo on the wall and that picture there to look perfect. Yeah. Oh, even pick a spot, man. Right there. Oh, God. Oh, now it's happening. It. <laughs> uh, Nick, real quick, I, I, I kind yeah. of alluded to this earlier, but I didn't ask you explicitly. Do you do, um uh like, commissions? Uh, yes like, and yes and no is kind of my answer like i don't the, advertise that i do commissions but like if the like someone hits me up and like has an idea that i'm like excited about and i yeah. think i can make happen i will i will do it like mm -hmm. you know given that i have the time and like if i think there's a good chance that i will be successful with it i would definitely say no quickly to a project that i don't think <laughs> i can do because i would never want to like disappoint someone but yeah um yeah i haven't done like a ton of them but um they, like i have had some really cool ones that i've really enjoyed working on as well so yeah I, i'm sure you've become become for a lot of people you know when you're thinking about lego they think of you so uh yeah. then they're reaching out and they're checking it's on you to see if like, cool you know, to hear that <laughs> they want to display if they want to display pieces i'm like hey i'll reach let's see if nick can do it you know like mm -hmm. uh uh that's that's really cool um awesome and 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 oh my god I, how how much did we just learn in 40 like that was <laughs> I'm so sorry. Was that that was a lot? That was that a was lot. no. That was awesome. No, that was you, fantastic. People are gonna be like, "Oh my god, can this be nine hours long?" Um, and unfortunately, it cannot. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not doing anything tonight. It's not like I was gonna uh, sleep or eat or drink. No, no, yeah, no. no. And, and Paul didn't just stream before this, right, Paul? You're good. No, you dude, lots I'm friggin'. I'm 31. I'm bursting it. with energy. I'm fine. Yeah, same. Me, this 32 year old definitely doesn't have his back hurting from uh, 70 <laughs> appearances this year. Uh, <laughs> Trevor but, hates baseball. So <laughs> before we go, I would uh, before we go, I would love to. Uh, uh, I don't hate baseball. I just, I know, just like <laughs> you couldn't let that. Uh, I couldn't let it go. I couldn't let it go. I had to address it. Uh, before we go, I want to make sure and correct me if I'm wrong on any of these, uh, so we can make sure people go find all of your awesome stuff. Find you brick brick in Nick like brick in b r i c k i n mm -hmm. Nick i n i c k on Twitter, right. Instagram, YouTube, Twitch. All the TikTok. same, correct? TikTok. Ooh, TikTok, hot damn. He's got Facebook, TikToks. Technically. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Lego TikToks. Uh, if I go to your, your page, I'm going to get bombarded by Lego. <laughs> There's a lot of good Lego TikTokers, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not, I don't consider myself part of that yet, but I, I feel like I might have had, I think I have a concept it's going to work really well for TikTok. Okay. So definitely go check out the TikTok <laughs> is what he <laughs> subtly said. And, uh, and brick, brick and Nick, same thing, dot com for everything else, right? We, I'm yep. sure you keep up, keep up I, with that. My website's pretty scarce, but it does have a lot of free instructions on there. So if you want free instructions, yep. If you oh, want to build helpful. some cool stuff, I think I have some pretty fun. Instructions. And if you forget any of the links before, I'm sure you can, you can find them with a quick Google search guys. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but before we let you go, do you have anything cool coming up? Any uh, any events? Any special streams? Any projects that you um, think people should come I check do out? Know Season what three. I want one of my next major projects to be. <laughs> okay. um, there is a platform called Lego Ideas that I have uh, been trying to use uh, as, to the best of my ability. Basically, fans can submit ideas for what they would want a Lego set to be. If a fan can gather ten thousand supporters for that project, Lego will consider trying to get into a real set which is pretty much my childhood dream is to like be wow. the designer of a Lego set. Yeah. Um, the cyber truck that's in the background here that did get to 10,000 supporters, unfortunately was rejected. Um, so oh. not become a Lego set, but Hey, we got there. We got, we give it a shot. And so I want to create two new projects for Lego ideas. Uh, okay. I want to build a two scale PlayStation five and Xbox series X. Oh. Um, and I want them to open up and have video game scenes inside of them. That's it. So sick. Yeah. So similar, you know, similar to what I did with the Switch, but like apply that to the larger scale consoles. Oh, we don't. Have some of the most iconic games from each uh, franchise or from each system uh, yeah. featured within them. Uh, and then the controllers, of course, to scale as well. So of course. Oh, that's what I'm going to be obviously. working on. I, that's probably going to start like mid to late October. Oh, I, and for I'm gonna whatever reason, my try gosh. to get those finished for the one year anniversaries of the consoles, but yeah. I will probably be late. <laughs> that's so cool. That's, I. Yeah. I, I just gotta. I, I'm remembering this as you're saying the PS5 and Xbox Series X. I got a, one of the coolest Lego builds I'd ever seen. And I don't know, maybe you've probably seen this a million times, but uh, it was a part of someone's house. Like it was a part of their drywall. Yes, seen, yeah. And like a, you open a little door. Dante, I can't remember his last name, but um, he is incredible at building like integrated things that are like in your walls and like they yes. open up in super fun and secret ways. I think Dylan Francis maybe has some of that. Really? Did he? Um, 
Oh, and there are people like, they do like, oh, I'm, actually, it's Zed. It's definitely Zed. Sorry. Oh, Zed. I feel like okay. I'm about to get that mixed up, but uh, it's Zed. Yeah. <laughs> Which oh, Twitch God. DJ is it? Which <laughs> DJ that we see <laughs> on Twitch is Twitch it? Which DJ is it? Thank you for making me feel better about that. Uh, dude, <laughs> not a problem. Uh, uh, Nick, thank you for, for, for regaling us with all of this information. I am enthralled by lego that is Thank you so, so much cool. for letting me share it with people i i love I, I hope it's pretty evident that i love talking about what i get to do and i'm very lucky to get to do it so absolutely any opportunity to share that more is, is super awesome so thank it's you great man yes and also a little peek behind the curtain here for our viewer slash listener uh we for the first time ever figured out how to see each other for this uh <laughs> podcast and this was the best. Oh, Trevor is blind. Uh, I Trevor didn't was this whole time. Me and, me and Nick have been just like oh, looking. Oh, he's, he's, he's lucky. <laughs> you know what? I'm really good at throwing up the the eyebrows and stuff. And like, <laughs> you, uh, hey, if it means anything, me, man. I, I, if you hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known. Seriously, so. yeah, you've been just interacting. The things you were saying were firing me up so much. I can't imagine. <laughs> Then maybe it will. Maybe Bro. it will be good for the listeners still. <laughs> oh, w- of course we can just look at their brick. Oh, now I can see it. Yeah, see, we, we figured it out. This is so logic. This is logical. For years, like, of course, Trevor. this matter. Of course, this works. We're so dumb. Dude, yeah. Your room's so cool. It's amazing. That's what I'm saying. This is the perfect guest to have like a visual. Finally, is, yeah. is like, and you're like standing up. You're like, look at this. And look, look at this thing. Look at this. It's been fantastic. So, um, anyway, sorry. I've anyway. been. I've fully enjoyed it for another uh, day. I will use this another day. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and to our listeners, and, and to dimitri uh this has been the may contain action podcast you can listen to the full episodes on spotify apple and google Podcasts. watch the highlights from the show on our youtube as well again thank you brick for being on it was a pleasure man it was awesome to be here thanks so much chance all right we'll see you next time guys bye-bye